Hi everyone, welcome back to the Wine Archive. As you can see, I'm back at Lagrange for a new vertical. This time we are going to do a vertical of the second wine, La Fièvre de Lagrange. Mathieu. Hi Yannick, hi there. Welcome to everyone. So I'm very pleased to offer you the possibility to taste different vintages of Les Fièvres. Les Fièvres de Lagrange is our second label. Uh, the meaning of the second label is uh, the wine, the vines, the, the wine came from the vines, which are, uh, as we consider, a little bit less concentrated. Uh, usually you can have also all vines, but it's usually wines that you have uh, more lightly uh, tannins, silky tannins, but less powerful compared to the Grand Vin. And uh, Les Fiefs started in 1983, and today we will have three vintages uh, first, the 16, great vintage, the 10, and the 05, almost three great vintage. And Yannick brought a blind test uh, with another vintage, uh, vintage of Les Fief. So uh, I will try to guess. Uh, it's a game, we should It's see. a game, it's a game, it's a game. <laughs> so let's start first by uh, Fief 16. The meaning of Fief is a fiefdom. Fiefdom is a part of the kingdom of Lagrange. So it represents some plots usually mainly plots uh, compared to, uh, to Lagrange because we produce more Les Fiefs than uh, Lagrange. Les Fiefs represent, generally speaking, 60% of the blend, of the production, sorry, and 40% for the Grand Vin. But today we focus on Les Fiefs. 16, as you know, was a great vintage. The weather condition during the spring was quite rainy, but after, in June, July, August and September, it was just amazing, beautiful. So you feel, uh, you smell the very ripe uh, cherry, ripe black currant. Yeah, very fresh as well. Very fresh as well, a lot of uh, lively acidity because even if it was hot during the summer, uh, the cool night uh, helps a lot to keep the freshness in this wine. It's for me one of the best vintage ever uh, of Les Fiefs and generally speaking in Bordeaux. Hmm. The blend is 55% Cabernet Sauvignon. We used to uh, have more Cab in our blend compared to, uh, to Merlot. 41% Merlot and 4% Petit Verdot, which gives some spicy notes to the wine. It's nice. But the finish is also very velvety. Yes. But it's, it it's very not close to the 09, but... A, a little bit shy compared yes. to 09 nowadays because it's very young. Mm -hmm. Even it's five years old, yeah. this, vi this wine is made with vines which are almost 30 years old on average, which is very old for a second label in Bordeaux. Yeah. But it's usually done like that for Les Fief. The average vines are uh, 30 years old on the estate. I have vines from three, five years old until 45 years old, including in the blend of Les Fief. That's an amazing start. Well, we have three red wine. 2010, yeah. one of my favorites. Okay. 2010, I have some in my cellar. Um, until now, my favorite is 09. Yeah. But really. 06, 16 is. 16 wow. is um, very trustful. Okay. Trustworthy. We can, uh, we can have this wine uh, for the next uh, two decades, uh, yeah. I'm sure. So the color with the 10, yeah. it's a little bit more evolved, of course, huh? mm -hmm. but not so much. Huh? Even the wine is 10 years old already. Uh, you uh, just have some uh, orange tint on the rim, orange, mm, red, red orange. Yeah. The nose is more evolved. Uh, you have some ripe fruit as well. It's more spicy maybe compared to uh, the 16. You have some tertiary notes uh, on the nose. So a little bit more body. You remember body, a lot of uh, tannins on this vintage. The weather conditions in 10, we call such vintage rocking chair vintage, you have nothing to do, you know, the weather condition was really hot and dry from May to October. Uh, it was late August uh, in, um, in, 20, uh, <coughs> in 2010, sorry, because we had a cool night. That's the reason why we have a high concentration of tannins, high pH, so a, a lot of freshness also. Uh, a little bit different compared to 09. Mm -hmm. 09 is a little bit more um, solar, uh, more, uh, with more, more sun. Uh, 10 is uh, fresher than the, uh, we used to say more classic. So you, obviously this wine is perfect to drink right now, mm. but if, exactly. if you would advise people to 
to let it rest? You, you can keep it 10 years more. Okay. At least, at least. Usually nowadays, Le Fief, I consider that you can have this wine uh, from three, four years old, but you can keep it for sure 20 years old, especially such a great vintage. Yeah, 2010 is amazing. The blend is 61% uh, uh, Cab, 30% Merlot, and 9% Petit Verdot. The Petit Verdot makes a nice... In 2010, uh, the Cab was so powerful that it was unnecessary to add some Petit Verdot in the blend of the Grand Vin. So the blend of the Grand Vin is mainly Cab and Merlot. Yeah. And in the end, we put all the Petit Verdot as the famous O9 in Le Fief. That's the reason why it gives a lot of power to the mid palate of the of the, uh, the 2010. But the people in general can expect a lot of quality in the second wine, eh? because it's a lot of production, a yeah. lot of. It represents 54 percent of the production, so. I don't think a lot of wineries do it. Eh? No, no, no. That's the reason why it's a wine that you you you, you have a big potential, and. Uh, but I I don't call this a second wine of Lagrange. It it's a real wine. Yeah. It's a real wine. He has his own identity. We do exactly the same. Uh, you, you, if you want more information, you can have a, um, a look to the, the video on the wine archive. We explain exactly the process, the winemaking process. But uh, it's exactly the same team. It's the same vines, uh, the same way to, to, to manage. We decrease the quantity of uh, uh, new oak, of course, because the, 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 the wine is a little bit less full-bodied compared to the Grand Vin but uh, it's done in a, exactly in the same way. In Belgium, there are a lot of wine lovers that just buy Le Fief. Yeah. Yeah. They don't hate Lagrange, but they like Le Fief so much because it's so approachable, really quick, and so fresh, elegant, with the same quality of grapes and, a very and the good same value. team. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's, uh, the first vintage was the 1983. And uh, as the beginning, uh, since the beginning, sorry, uh, the owners allow us to uh, uh, reduce the quantity of Grand Vin, so we have always produced a lot of quantity of Fief, nice. and we were able to uh, offer this wine in France, in Belgium, almost all over the world. That's great. And Belgium people uh, enjoy it a lot. But when you visit, you, you saw it everywhere, eh? Le yeah. Fief. Yeah. Oh, 05. Oh, 05. It's the first time I taste it. The first time? Yeah. Uh, for us, I, I have maybe 200 bottles left, so uh, it's not a lot, but uh, I tasted... Uh, not a lot. I, I tasted... I, last time, maybe uh, three, four years old. Okay. And I had a very good memories of this wine. There is a particularity on this vintage ball. You know that 05 was totally amazing. Mm -hmm. We have never had such a weather conditions uh, uh, during, the, during, the, uh, during the year. It has been for a long time one of the top vintages ever in Bordeaux. I remember that we tasted with the other vertical of Lagrange, the 05. So yeah. it's nice to compare. I really okay. like doing it. Eh? So if you can, can compare the same vintages of the both labels, and then you can see the quality of the second one, or, yeah. I did, uh, I arrived uh, at Lagrange in 06, so uh, I haven't made this blend, but uh, I did the bottling of this wine and the, 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 the aging. Uh, what is surprising in Le Fief 05 is the blend. The blend is close to the Grand Vin nowadays. Mm -hmm. We have 75% Cabernet Sauvignon in this blend, 23% uh, Merlot only, and 2% Petit Verdot. Sounds great. Oh, in the nose. Yes. Very open. Yeah. Uh, it's, I would say it's at its peak. Yeah. 15, okay. 16 years old. For a second label, yeah. For, for a second label, it's at its peak. But a lot of freshness. Yeah. It looks less old than the age, to my mind. A lot of freshness, uh, minty. Eucalyptus, mm -hmm. black currant. Not even a little bit cedar. Yeah, the dare cherry starts to. Yes. Grow. And it's silky also. It's silky with freshness. Very elegant. But this has a little bit more power. It's they have some power because of the cab. Yeah. Seventy-five cab. Amazing. Yeah? So velvety, the tannins are good. Yeah. Wow. Love this one. Thank you. <laughs> it's a good opportunity to, to open yeah. a bad vintages of Le Fief. But as you can see, people, yet again, I didn't spit. I've 
<laughs> Me it's, too. Not, it's, <laughs> not to co- it's not too good to come to Lagrange to film. Because yeah. <laughs> so Le Fief is really well known to be a, a, a good value for Monet because it's a wine that you can easily find around 20 euros uh, for the wine fair. Or, uh, in a restaurant, it's almost 50 euros. It, you, you've never been disappointed with Le Fief. And it's a wine that you can uh, age for a while and keep for your friends and, uh, and family. I think it's no secret for the people that know me or, I don't know, my friends or family, but Le Fief has always been one of my favorite second labels, if you can call it, price value-wise, not hesitation. Even we produce uh, between 300 and 400,000 bottles a year, it's quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's really easy to sell, really easy to sell. I have a lot of demand on this wine. Good. You want to play? Allez, let's go. So, I have a blind bottle again from my cellar. Obviously, a Le Fief. Um, let's try to surprise Mathieu. And who knows, like last time, he guesses the vintage right. Ooh, looks I old. can already tell. It's older than 05. Yeah, it's a little bit older than 05. For me, it's the second time oh. that I tasted this one, this vintage. First, I have some smoky notes. So it helps me to open the O5 uh, because I have the color. The color looks like yes, a little bit brown, yeah, a little brown. bit older. Thank you very much. Uh, no, no really problem. For me, blind testing is a school of humility. Uh, yeah, uh, but I it's fun to do. I prepare myself uh, <laughs> <laughs> in case of. Oh, it's very nice on the nose. Uh, very nice. I'm not going to tell ripe. anything. Oh yes, you, you see. I, I analyze the wine. I uh, tell yeah. you my feelings. Ripe, smoky. Color is still not very fruity, yes, in my opinion. Very fruity also. Color is not so dark, but uh, close to 05 in the density. We just have opened the bottle a few minutes ago. Yeah. So normally, when you open up this vintage, maybe you could open it up and maybe just rest for maybe one or two hours and check up at the bottle for every 15 minutes. But um, mm. yeah, I'm already very surprised because... Extremely elegant. Yeah, this one um, I tasted, I think, two years ago. And I, I think this bottle is better. Mm. I, I would guess it's... Uh, I hesitate. The, the range is between, for me, is between 2000 and uh, 2004. I would say early 2000. If it's older than 2000, I'm very surprised. For the because it's, ah, yes, because it looks so young, so young. But <coughs> the, the oaky notes, the, the smoky notes, um, for rise me to, to, to say that it's not older than 2000. Maybe I could guess 2000. Because it's ripe. And 2000 is, is ripe in I hesitate 2000, 2001. I can tell two. you it's a big vintage yeah. in Bordeaux in general. It's ripe. Huh? Yeah. But 2000 was less ripe than, um, than people think. They have some freshness, but Lagrange did a, a very ripe wine. Or maybe. Okay, or it could be the right, vin- the very ripe O3. Bon, I have to guess one. Say O3. You can say two. You can say two. You're going to be surprised either way. 2000 or 2003, even it's not the same. But uh, I can't imagine that it's older than that. It's older You're than that. <laughs> Oh, oh. Almost a, more than a decade. Oh, 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 oh. Are you kidding? Yeah, but it's good, eh? It's really good. For the freshness and quality, that's still it's in, in the second 90s. label. It's in the 90s? 80s? 80s. 89? Mm-hmm. Oh. Sorry. Nice, eh? Sorry. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> but no, that, that tells 89. a lot of the wine. 
It's so sorry, I told you that you can keep the wine, the Lefiev, for 20 years. You can keep <laughs> them for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's impressive. It's, it's crazy. Huh? 89. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a wonderful bottle. Beautiful. Our Lagrange 09 is beautiful. I tasted several times. Lefiev 09, I, I tasted 15 years ago when I arrived, I remember, in 07. Yeah, 14 years ago. Thank you very much for no, this no bottle. Problem. Wow. I tell you, the, the, the previous bottle is not the same quality. It's two years ago, this one is much younger, but the, the level was so high. Wow. Superb. Yeah. Superb. I'm very impressed about how the color is so fresh. But I think it's a it's a good thing that you say it's 2000 or 2003. Ah it yes, shows 2000, you how 2003. Exactly. Perfect. So, so you can keep it for a while. Yeah. So here we are, the end of the Lafayette tasting. Thank you so much for the nice lineup. It mm -hmm. was nice to surprise you again. But, uh, we will enjoy the bottle afterwards. And uh, thank you so much for viewing. And uh, check out our other videos of Lagrange. And we will have some more verticals, individual tastings, and so much more. Thank, thank you. Thank you to all. Bye-bye. Thank you, Wayne. Bye. Bye.